Hello, motherfuckers! Welcome to another day playing Championship Manager. And now I have been. I don't know, season with a save with Estrella Amadora, my Portuguese team. It starts in the second division. One thing I'd like to say first is there's a big difference between this uh, 3.9.60 version or the 3.9.68 version, which is meant to be like a little update of the same. But the players have changed clubs, even though they have the same mage, things are slightly different. I'm not sure if this database is completely correct, but this is how we roll now. For example, the guy that I, that you guys know very well, Niki Forenko, here he's an attacking midfielder, forward, left, center. And he used to be only an uh, attacking midfielder, center. Also, he, sh he wouldn't play for Shakhtar Saligorsk. I believe, I think he was in Dynamo Minsk. Or was he in Soligoras? Maybe that's true. But some of the players here changed dramatically. Like my team, even, Estrella Damodora. It was very different when I started this game on the 3.9.68 original database or the 3.60 original database. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, well, it's cool anyway. You can see that there's a highlighting. This is how old I am anyway. I'm just revealing my age here for you. So you can see that there's a highlighting. It gets redder. As the attribute gets closer to 20, where it gets a lighter color to green, and the closer it gets to 1. Blech. Which is what we don't want. So summing up, regarding, summing up my season here. I cited a few, a few of the good ones. Especially from the Portuguese league. Pinheiro, that goalkeeper, boom. Don't need a goalkeeper anymore. Pedro Emanuel. The center midfielder that will evolve as well, 35k for Marignan's sake, come on guys, this is a given, of course I got him, got him, got a risp as well by the end of the season, Sigalco only came in January, so only got 39 goals in 21 games, poor thing, imagine that, so for half of the season I was playing with Licinio, did a very good job. 30k from Oliverense, 1926, and as you can see off the ball, 20. Plays 14, finishing 13. He's 20 years old. Physically, he is very good. And he can only get better. So, as a sub for Maxim Tegalko, awesome. Oh, another thing that is devastating for the real fans of this crap is Tom Madeira, the legend. The guy from Goveia, the Portuguese guy that doesn't exist, apparently, who was like some sort of a glitch. He disappeared completely from the game, which is sad to say the least. Now, what did I do here with Maestrella in the first season? How could I get some of these players? Of course I wasn't cheating. So I had to do a little strategy here to increase the, my, my wage budget during the season. Which was basically around this guy, Marajo. He was the first like big signing that I did. I'd say from Venus as well. Cheap, 35k, awesome number 10. My organizer, my set piece man, either foot. No doubt whatsoever. Here, who am I going to put? And I renew this contract constantly, until like 41000 a month. So, Sigalico, for example, he's already making 46 and a half, and my allowance must be like 60000 and a half. I just had to renew Marajal's contract loads of times, loads of times, until this increased to a value that allowed me to get some players like Risp, for example. He's 55,000 uh, years a month, as you can see. Okay, got him for 2.2 .2 millions million euro because I sold of course some of my important players here like Semedo, Juba, Juba is not that important but I sold him uh, Vega was a goalkeeper very wanted in the beginning so I needed some money of course it was a shame that I sold Semedo but it had to be done I had no other option and guess what of course I won the, the second division seven draws though it was not up to standard there I wasn't expecting those seven draws but I got them Regardless, I don't know. The engine of the game sometimes is kind of cruel. As we all know, my old man. But still, like Tegalco still beat Lucinio and he tied with Constantino for the best goal scorer. Tegalco, Tegalco is the guy to have like up front, there's no doubt. This is the guy, Maxim Tegalco, who doesn't know him, should. Of course he you know him. He's a legend, isn't he? And he's a forward here. He's not a striker center. Again. Forward center, another little change on the engine of the game. Satmar, I got him already, the Romanian guy. 
For 20k, he wasn't playing in the ball, imagine. My Romanian... Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be the Romanian left back in the future, I'm pretty sure about that. I doubt he's not, I'll be very surprised. Happy days, got him. I have some selling to do, I have some stuff to do, finish... Oh, I won the cup, which is amazing. Apparently the Portuguese cup now has two uh, legs for the semi-final. Which is weird, this didn't happen before as well, I don't know how this came to happen, but I won't question this update. Rest-wise, it seems pretty similar to the huge. So I eliminated Porto here, this was my great glory. 5-3 in their house, boom. They were crying, I'm sure, but look at this. Complete domination. Didn't I deserve to destroy them? I did. All good. Oh, another thing is the Portuguese league has no restriction when it comes to foreign players, like non-EU players. How can that be? There used to be a restriction of four at maximum, but now it's a party. You don't even need to consider that. You just collect the Pokemons, put them on. Put them on the team, everything is okay. So I'm in preseason mode. All the players are basically intensively training in every single area that they can. Just finish the season here. Winning the Portuguese Cup by 3-0 against Passos de Ferreira. Then guess what? But this is incredible. Passos is the fucking Portuguese champion. Like, how? Porto Sporting and Benfica, second, third, and fourth, and they won. Bah. That was amazing. And then there's another glitch here that says, apparently, in the same year that Sporting won the Premier League and Boa Vista was second, and Pastors de Ferreira in the same year won the league while Porto was second, which is like so weird. I don't know about this. I hope this is just a single season thing. Otherwise, it's, it's very disappointing, isn't it? I don't know. I hope they didn't destroy the entire Portuguese league. Of course, I want to buy a lot of those superstars that we all know about. I lost the competition for Agahoa. Mark Kerr is currently one of my obsessions, of course, but he's not very interested in joining my team. Which is a shame. I want him. I want him bad. I have Pedro Emanuel, but I can send him to the bench. I need two anyway, so... Oh, please. Please, boy. Cristiano Ronaldo, look at him. He's here in the game. He wasn't here in the game before, or he was, like, for free, and he was so bad. He's still very bad, as you can see. His pace is 9. That's the most unrealistic attribute that you can get for the lad. Imagine, at 17, he was just breaking everyone in the middle. One of my friends played against him when he was 15, and he scored a goal from the midfield. The guy was dribbling guys, telling them to get up. Get up, boy. Get up. Man, he's not a 9-paced guy, not even close, as we all know. But here he is, though. Incredible. I wonder if I ever try this. Lionel? Is Lionel here? No, Lionel is not here. Okay, that would be too much, I suppose. I'm with the maximum database, though. I didn't select all the leagues. I just selected, like, Finland, Northern Ireland, Portugal, and the Republic of Ireland. So, weak European league... European, uh, leagues. What's my plan here? It's to outthrow the usual Spain, Italy, uh, England, all the big, the big boys here. The boys with the money, the boys with the reputation. I want to see this change, I want to see those other shitty nations rise, even if I have to leave my Estrella Amador and go to assume some. So yeah, here we are. The game is rolling, it's good, and let's go. Keep on going. Oh, Roma won the Champions League. Surprise, surprise. At least this didn't change. Roma is... Roma, I guess. Tadi is just a forward center? Used to be an attacking midfielder, everything, right, left, center, and forward. Now it's just forward, center. Okay, sure. Awesome numbers, though, but there's some changes here. I don't know. It's just slightly weird, I suppose, to what I was used to. Myself and my friends, anyway. We used to play with the original database with a 3.9.60. So a little bit of a change. Kind of last seems a little bit worse than usual, but that's fine. All good, they won. <laughs> Surprise. Barcelona second. With their beautiful Javier Saviola. The most promising guy, I would say, in this game. Or he was, anyway. They're projected to be superstar. Oh, Ar Arthur Joven. Who's Joven here in this game? Okay, at least he's still the same <laughs> position. Yeah, it's Robin. He's good. 
you Buma PSP is that team, don't don't they? They just have everything you can possibly imagine. Good. Well, won the league. The observations are done. This was my feedback anyway. Regarding this first season situation, the little changes you can experience. So now I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of players. Why? Why? Why would I be get, getting rid of a lot of players? Because I need space, guys. I need... It's not like I need space, but I want that money in my pocket. So I can buy better. I need more players, more interesting players, like Dima is 33 years old. Damn, and Sporting is interested. Oh, please, Sporting, please. Oh, Benfica, Sporting, and Porto are interested. Oh, a million and a half. See how that goes. This guy from the beginning of the season, Vargas, I don't know. He feels like he made the mistake moving into Portugal. Well, he played constantly in my team. Like, a sub, sure, but still. I don't know what's his problem. He can go. He's on the verge of going anyway. Ain't gonna tolerate that shit. Pedro Simões, he did a good season. He's a competent defensive midfielder, but we need better. What we need, honestly. We know what we need. You know who he is. The guy for the position, the perfect, perfect little player for that position. Where is he? Asana Nudiai. He was going to Lyon, of course. I lost that. Lost the competition there. Nothing I can do. Andrei Milevsky. Maybe Milevsky wants to come over and assume that position. That would be beautiful. He's not very good technically. He's not very exciting. He looks more like a central defender, to be honest, than anything else. But we'll see. I lost a few players here for other clubs. The reputation wasn't that good in my club in, in the first season, so... I had to see them flying away, going elsewhere. Here's Papadopoulos. The guy. This is the guy, I suppose, that she should have. Over Tsigalko. I never... Never done a career with this guy from top to bottom. He seems to be awesome, of course. But um, I don't know if I can get him. I hope I can get him. That would be nice. That would be sweet. Vargas, Vargas. This guy always unhappy. Oh, what am I doing here? Go. Go, my friend, go. Go find a better place. A place that actually tolerates your ass. I have no more patience for you. Nearly. Risp. Risp. No. So Vargas is gone. Igor. I might keep him on the bench for another season. We shall see. Depends on how it goes. I certainly want to sell a lot of players. Not totally confident about this team. Nor it, nor it is that good or whatever. That would be nice to sell him for a million and a half. Fonseca, Dimas, Mourinho as well. Mourinho, man. That would be nice. You can go. Please give me some more. Be a little bit more generous than that. Andrina and Moretta most still interested. We shall see. Keepers are fine. Left backs are fine. But first of all, before I actually... Well, I want to sign the... The stars. The usuals. Nico Parenko is mine anyway. For next season, so... He's gonna play on the left, Ruggieri is gonna go into the bench. That's a, that's a problem I don't have anymore. Left side, right side, I have Lemos who's doing the job, and Igor as the direct replacement. Christophe was just lost here in this club. He doesn't even know what he's doing here. But he's happy though, I'll keep him there just for volume. And Madness, he can be my third striker or something. I don't know. Yeah, and Madness I guess. We shall see. Reserves. There's nothing here, man. It's all bad. bad. No point checking. Who else would I sign? I want a central defender. I want a central defender to join Risp there, indeed. Okoronko is gone for Rangers. <coughs> That's like a stab in the heart. Mike Duff. Mike Duff, man. He signed to San Jose Earthquakes. Imagine. He went to the United States instead of staying in Europe. Well, he didn't know that I was going to be this successful, I suppose. Carl Cornelison might be an option there for to cover my absences on the on the down wings, whatever. 
my full backs. I need to sell two. I need a right back for sure. For sure, I'm not going to do a season with Mourinho. Not even close. Balaranga, Opa, Mama. Ka would be amazing. If I could get Ka, that would be nice. I mean, I hope he doesn't look as hot as he used to be. Uh, I don't know. I hope that the database didn't play some tricks on me. There, when it comes to um, judging judging the players with different with a different value or something, I don't know. So I need some crossing and tackling. Those are the bases, I suppose. That would be nice. There's a guy here from Rapid Bucharest, and I don't have any restrictions. Look at this, Daniel Chirita, 20 years old. Opa, he seems to be a great player. Let's bit him right now. Come to me, Romanian. That would be nice. That would be nice. Even if he doesn't play in the first team, he plays in the second for sure. Let's go. Keep going. So yeah, I've got my vino. In my living room. Got the woman there reading the book. She's like, oh man, this is going to be a long afternoon for her. Kind of sick. We we're both we we're living in Ireland, and it's the weather is just bad. It's just cold every day. It's just cold, always cold. It's one of those one of those places. <laughs> it's just cold. There's nothing you can do. Salgueros so comes forward there with a two fifty for Flamarion. I'm gonna say goodbye to Flamarion. I'm gonna give him like basically offer him adios. Seems like you're going to play in Salgueros next season. You're going to stay in the second division. You ain't that good. Portimonense makes a bit for Fonseca. Same story. I accept. Go. Sol the America. The son of America. Once Vargas. Should I sell him? Of course I should. I don't know if they are very wealthy or not. Paraguay? Definitely not. Let's try this. See how that goes. 375, still there, that's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rapid Bucharest has accepted. The bit for Chirita. Chirita. Got it right back. That wasn't too bad. He's definitely going to accept. This guy, these guys gave up on Fulmari on his soul though. So that's fine. So, yeah. Not bad at all. Timonense already got this guy as well. Benfica and Sporting won him, but they're not willing to make a bid as well as this. That's reset their value type of thing. See how this goes. So no one wants Simoy. Simoy she might be on the bench for next season. Regardless, I have no one. Sold America wants Vargas. Goodbye, Vargas. And goodbye, Fonseca. That's it. that's us. Great. Let's keep selling. Another one. Flamarion. Goodbye. Very slow. He's just very slow. He has no tackling skills. So he's flattered by the interest. I make a bid. Then he says that he's uh, that he's rejected the move because he's very happy with his role. That's so incoherent. What an incoherent little bastard, huh? What about Lemos? If I, I don't like this guy. He's not the worst, but he's definitely not the, the best. like to sell him. I'll keep him. Keep him in the team, so keep him happy. <clears throat> For now, I'm bothered with the right midfielder. I have a left. I have number 10. I have striker. I need a defensive midfielder to join the team. A center midfielder, if I could. Kerr. I say, meaning, I need two. I need a defensive midfielder and I need a center midfielder. That would be nice if I could have Emmanuel and Simoes on the bench or whoever I sign. Emerson on the bench, that's fine, 24 years old. It's not good at all. But I'll keep him on the bench because I won't be able to sell him for anything at all this season. And we'll see from there. Ilevsky is indispensable, so he is, of course, of course. How can he not be indispensable? He is Milevsky. 
I already spoke with my board as well to increase my uh, my ute. So pretty much, I went here to the board. Confidence in the youth develop the youth development is gonna get some funding on because the adequate facilities don't 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 please me at all. Don't load me up with confidence for nothing whatsoever. We should check out the expired market as well. Interested or not? Oh, thing. Yeah, you can you can't propose tests to the players anymore. Like that's another one. So you know, if you don't know it already, maybe it's just news for me, but that's fine. But the game didn't change like uh, much. You just have to adapt to these little things. Not even that relevant. But it's pretty much the same, same principle. A little bit more colors. And here we are. Uh, this guy is a decent central defender considering I have no restrictions. I could have him in such sufficient 11, positioning 12, pace. Can only get better, I suppose. I could get him as a sub if he was interested. Chris. He is interested. He wants to come to Portugal. My Arabic friend, like, yeah, it's almost the same language, why not? Now, that's a better defensive midfielder there. It's from Congo. Eh, not bad at all. If I could get him for free. That's one less concern for me, at least so far. Should I get him? I should wait. Should I wait? I'll add him to the short list and wait a little bit. I don't want to rush into this. I might get some better things here. We will see. So far, all good. Future transfers, all good, no problem. All made expires. Look at this. It's horrible. Goodbye, man. I absolutely do not want you. This little error is always there, but it doesn't have an influence on anything for what I see. Mark her again. He accepted. He's indispensable. Oh, it's a miracle. He's interested. He's literally, like, interested in coming. Oh, come my side, my friend. Come my side. Please, I won't even touch that that clause, the minimum fee release clause. I'll get you a new contract as you come in. Don't worry, it will increase that value. But please come, just come. Anderson transfer bid rejected. Usual stuff. This guy wants to come, join me. Ilevsky, no. Why would you say that? Why wouldn't you be interested? Oh, another guy that left his club was Volodinkov. He's somewhere else. Speaking of Volodinkov, he's in Sokol Saratov. Did a season there, so... Should be in a position to join the boys here. Of course. Papa, please come to me. That's the type of, uh, of left right back that I need, indeed. Boys are always loading. On Chile, nine does the top goal score. Another guy that starts in Belenenses and usually you started in Le Chouinche. Another club. Fair enough. This snobbery isn't bad. Just slow. Ain't bad though. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. I'll keep them under my eye. Ain't gonna sell. Ain't gonna buy him now. Second player of the year, of course, Marajo. He played the whole season. He's very, very good. Very, very good. Marajo, Marinho, Pinheiro, and Simo is on the bench. Mario Aponso is the manager of the year. Of course, of course, of course. Oh no! Now competition for Kerr, and we're talking about competition. Tottenham came forward. For now, that's going to go for me. Probably bad. Notice that I had, that I increased all the all that he was uh, expecting anyway. Let's see if I can get him or increase my chances of, of getting him, but we'll see. Increase the, um, increase the signing fee, increase his wages. I mean, trying. That's all you can do. 
Run State doesn't look like they will make it in. Of course, they accepted Tottenham's offer. Benfica wants Dimash, the 33 year old Portuguese international guy, for 170. Goodbye. If he plays against me, it's a blessing. It was good though. He was he served me for a season, signed him for free in the beginning of the season. I didn't have anyone at all, so he did the job for the second league at least. Now follow. They seem to be interested. Let's give him a mil, million euros. <gasps> what Tottenham? What? what? Look. Boom. Boom. Live with that. Yep, yeah. uh-huh, you know what it is. It's my curve. Boom, win. Doriva next week, another guy that, come on. Come on, man, what is this? Bad Brazilian player, bad. Bad, very, very bad. Not up to standard. Your nationality should give you that responsibility, but no. So I have to suck up to this. Look at La Sanaria, I go to Lyon. Great. That's really what I want. Great. Lost Nidia. Nidia is like that guy that you get him and you're like, I got Nidia in Kerr. Just a match. Next season. Mark Kerr. I saw Nidia behind him. Marajal in front, in the front. Nicky Forenko on the left, Thiago Lemos, fuck it, on the right, we'll, we'll survive. Sigalko up front. Oh, man. The defense is going to be awesome as well, don't worry. Ah, oh, what a shame. Goodbye. Lydia, man, he's just too good. Too good. So good. So all these are settled. So I got Nicky, Kerr, can't complain. Central defender, okay, and a right defender, okay, so we need a lot of stuff. We need Boladinkov for sure, if he comes, that would be great. I have that's, that central defender, so that balances me a little bit. Got a right back, yeah, got a right back pretty much, and another central defender to play in, in the first team, still need a sub. This guy is still being in the equation to come in. We'll see. I don't want to spend money. That's why I'm here. All free. Just checking the free players. See what comes up. <laughs> this guy from Kazapi. Come on. Come on, man. Why, man? Left back. What do we have? There's a guy here that I'm scouting. Oh, yeah. I was scouting before, I would say, before I saved the game. See if he's good or not. Rui Miguel. Rui Miguel. Oh, man. Well, can only go forward. We'll see. I want to pass at least the transition to the next season, which should be on the 18th and 19th. Ah, oh, wouldn't that be nice? That's the central defender I want right there. <laughs> no. I wish. Oh, man, don't say this to me, my friend. You should... In the transition of to the next season, I should be able to get Ballard and Goff and some other players that uh, are being very... Very fussy now at the moment, I suppose. And it's just too good to come to me, playing my team. At least 200k, man, for Mourinho, no? Okay, please give me something more. Be a little bit more generous. I don't want Mourinho, not even in the bench. He's just old, bad numbers. Yeah, he's not doing anything here. Striker of the year, midfielder of the year. Okay, who's the best? Late. Oh no, Basso's the Ferreira. You have more money than that. You can go a little bit further up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Call it and cough. What is it? What a disappointment. Again. <sighs> hmm. If Basso's comes forward with a 750, I'll cancel that 200 for, for Maritimo. If not, I'll take it. We go transitioning to the new season on the 19th. Very good, very good. Uh, 
every time you're playing this and you're enjoying that save, I don't know, you just get that feeling, don't you? Top of the world. You're building your little empire of players. Even if they're not the best, they're your players. You're training them. You're putting them. You know what you're doing. Everything is going to be okay. Hopefully. See how this goes. Anyway. Updating game data. Updating game data. It's kind of slow. I suppose I have to live without. What can you do? You're rolling another cigarette while I have my hands available. But there you go. All the bad habits here. Why not? I'm off, not doing anything, so today's my day. There you go. Hello. <laughs> A lady passing by, taking care of the house. She's amazing. Can't complain about that. Not at all. And I'm here. Mm -hmm. Liam. Uh, disappointment. They gave up. They gave up on Mourinho. They decided that Marajo is the player of the year. And the youth expansion is done. And it's for top facilities. Boom. I just need to touch that again. During this season at some stage. And I shall be complete. My fantastic training facility. There's another update to do here on the season. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's update the status of the club. Increase it. <sighs> Tipping point on my television. I don't know if you can relate to that. It's one of those shows that you just roll. Look at the little discs coming down, trying to get the money out of the machine. Is what it is. Mm. This got washed. What got washed? Oh, thank you. No. Yeah. Apparently, I left a, a lighter in my pants. Typical. So I went to the machine. Oh, should dry or something. Should work again. <laughs> it's not the first time that happens. We're the ones who know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Happens a lot. I wonder if YouTube is going to have a problem with this. Yeah. What is this? Well, maybe you're incentivating people to smoke and to drink or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Just playing the game. Very entertaining game. Championship manager. We're not babies. We're 30 plus. All of us, pretty much. We spend our, a lot of our youth playing this game. A lot of weights in our conscious. We're just thinking, oh my god. <sighs> Uh, I have a test tomorrow. I should stop this and study and so forth. Yeah. It's life, I suppose. Not sure if I'm going to divide this in two videos. Just so whoever is, is already like with this updating game data time thing, it's getting a little bit boring for whoever is watching. Well, you got the feedback from what I think about this. Another thing about this is like the training of the players. It seems like they're more volatile, their attributes. That's what I, that's the impression I'm getting anyway. Seems to be similar to the 3.9.60 version, but still it's a little bit different. I don't know. It seems to, that they respond more if they play more constantly. Not just the training, of course the training is the training. Whoever is training your players is fundamental. Your coaching staff uh, is fundamental. But it seems like uh, playing or not playing is very determinant for the evolution of the attributes. I'm getting that feeling a lot as I'm playing this. Most of the players that play, they evolve regardless if they're good or bad or whatever. But most of the players that don't play, devolve slightly. That's the feeling I get. Of course I had like adequate, adequate uh, training facilities. Now I have top training facilities. I'm going to assault the Portuguese Premier League and I'm going to win. If Passage of the Ferreira could do it in the first season, I can do it in the freaking second, and I shall. I'm going to the UEFA Cup as well, of course, because I won the cup, which is amazing. So I'm not just someone coming into the, fir to the, the Premier Division. I'm a team that people are curious about, I'm sure, at this stage. The media is talking. Estrella de Amadora is that team. Now, adios. That's the end of Mourinho and this club. 
on the 21st of June. Now, before I go further, Sporting Benfica, Academica, Belenenses. Are you serious? I, I'm not. I'm not in the Europa League or UEFA Cup, whatever. Why? I just won the cup. Regardless of the ranks, that should give me access directly. Like, excuse me, sorry. Okay, we fall pretend that that's the usual thing. But I what? I won the cup. I'm not in the European competitions. Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? That's offensive. Like, how? How can that even be? Oh really? You want? You want? Huh? Please come and get him. Come and get Thiago Lemos. Okay, this was kind of upsetting there. So I won the cup for nothing. It's like it was easy. Oh, you just go there with the Shola Damador and win the cup. No, but I mean it was easy enough. Let's be honest. But it's because I must, as we all are. We're fantastic. We can always do these things. We can win everything every year. But come on, man. Kind of, kind of bad. So let's invest. Let's go again after uh, left and right back. Blenkov again. Let's go. Let's reduce the bid. That you do. Cornelius him as well. But if 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 all else fails, I'll spend two two point two million on him. I have some cash. Not just some some guy. Let's try to get Milevsky in. He's very good. Mike Duff, I have to look at him for another season there. Kennedy Bakirsioglu. Let's see, I'll get him if I sell... If I sell my Thiago Lemos, my attacking midfielder. Mamaduka. That would be nice to have, but I doubt. Make a little bid there, a little cheeky bid. Doubt that's gonna work, but we'll see. Anderson, Milewski, Lodenkov, Kappa. That would that would balance me a lot. My problem is not from the midfield forward. I mean, sort of, but me, I'll survive. But it's more like from the midfield back, especially with this with the signings I already have. Everything. Okay, that's fine. Of course. Oh, sure. I'll give it to you, Dinamo Minsk. You deserve it. Milevsky is going to be worth so much more than that. And if anyone comes and, and buys them in the future, they're going to pay for it. Again, the language. Worried about the language. I prefer to be in Sokol Saratov. Yeah, maybe they go to the Champions League and I'm here looking. Hey, or the UEFA Cup. Uh -huh. I'm not going anywhere. That's very disappointing, actually. Winning the cup and not going. I don't know. I don't know about this update in that sense, but there's a lot of a lot of history of the players as well is weird. Like the the second division of the Portuguese league doesn't even expand. Doesn't even expand like uh, prior to 1996 or something. It's like there was no league before that. Nothing. It was just like it's so strange. And I get this guy. This. Uh, no, I'm not. He's no. I saw his technique attribute that that put me off. The rest seemed okay-ish for what I want. A sub, nothing more, nothing less. But no. After that, that was that was the nail in the coffin for that man. Let's check out if there's anything interested. Without a contract, there's a lot of interested people. There's an Ethiopian here. And I don't care now. Of course, apparently Portugal is the party. One of those leagues now, you can. It's like Italy. You can buy everything. It's fine. I think this Mule Kleaila, this guy might join me here, which will put like Pedro Simões in a bad spot. Let's be honest. But who cares? Um, even if I sell them like uh, for a bad price, let's say it's too big, isn't it? Doing this, we'll see. Okay, by position, let's see. I'm bidding for that defensive midfielder. What else do I have? I have this guy. 
I don't know nothing about it. And as I said, even if I wanted to propose like a trial, like that, yeah, it's impossible. There's no option. An approach to science. He's good, actually. Hmm. Is he a little bit better than the other guy? I'll compare him with the dude that I actually made a bit for. I doubt, to be honest. My players are just so bad that my eyes are telling me he's better than Diabate. Diabate is the guy that we were talking about. Could be a left back. <laughs> left back, so he actually could, but... Ain't going to go down those routes. I'm going to observe this guy here for free. What else is going on here? I wish I had some sort of chat on so you guys could give me some help or some feedback on everything. Might do that soon. I mean, not now during the save, but I'd say one of these days. I'm getting there. I'm evolving my channel slowly. No rush. This is to keep the game alive. Whoever loves the game. Wants to keep it alive, and I want to keep it alive. Nothing interesting rest-wise, I got that one in observation. Central defenders. Just a little, a little scarcity there, but what can you do? Shall we wait until the 1st of July? We shall. Let's get the signings on, let's get this team to make a little bit more sense. Till then, everything is very vague. Christopher Anderson rejected. Why would you do that? I can't get Volodinkov. You can. You should come to me. Why do I have to get a Corneliusen if he wants to? You reject the contract, did he? Mm. I wonder if now I actually have a market for this guy. And I do. Isn't that nice? That is nice. Let's be honest. That's nice. Nice. I'll sign the other guy for free, the African guy, get him on my team, happy days, he's good. Bamilevsky, shit, that's tough to see, he doesn't want to come, oh. no way, ain't interested, we have for Simoes, no, no one wants to pay for Simoes apparently, or maybe some people do. Pa Muruka, should I get this guy? Hmm. I definitely should. Three and a half mil. We'll see how we go. Let me see regarding. Uh, oh, I'm almost there. Yes, you come. You come to Papa. Yes, please come to Papa. Thirty first. First. Here we go. No, a lot of moves in the market. Everything is being rearranged. Please, no complications with my signatures, but it's all I'm praying for. Niki Forenko is mine. Mine. And he wants to renew. Thirty-five and a half mil. Oh, poor, poor thing. Thirty-five and a half. I mean, poor thing. Imagine you would make the same money a month. You wouldn't complain, would you? So there's no bullshit so far. We're doing good. It's my right back right there. That's center back for the bench at least. Mark. Mark. Yes. Now yeah, Mark will renew with me. Nice and comfy. I said. You know the way. That's fine. Seventy thousand a month. I will only look at this. I will only increase. My allowance for salaries, it's fine. I don't, I don't complain about that. And now we seem to have something more resembling a team. Okay, so midfield forward, as I said, like that's not a big concern. Okay, I could do better here. Could do better that. But look, my defense is the problem. I have a right back, a left back, three defenders, and that's it. Like, so I need at least another wing which I think I might with Ka, if Ka actually comes to me. Maybe day there are interested people in him, but I have Hugo Pinheiro, I'm not going to spend money there. Oh man, this would be fantastic. Imagine, Avgar Barson. Avgar Barson would be a signing. 
No, let's be honest. Try to make a bit there, see how that goes. Same story with Bucky Cioglo. Why not? Let's go. So be it. So be it. Let's go. Let's go loco. Let's make this count. Try to sell this guy. Epa, no one wants him again. No one wants this guy. Oh, now Salernitana seems to be interested. Epa, I, I wish. I wish. I wish. I'll easy. Easily make a bid for Barsum of 2 million. He's in Nerenvin. Again, he was in the club like... What was the club? Hakken. Some really bad club. Some really bad. That's where he used to live. Who was the club that he used to come from? It should be in the history there. He probably was signed previously. Dew Garden. So he was 40,000. The club of the one and only Kim Kallstrom, who's injured for three months, and I'll add him to the short list. Now he's a defensive midfielder. He used to be an attacking midfielder, now he's a defensive midfielder. Michael Dorson is here. Michael Dorson, why don't you join the gang? You could be so useful to my depleted defense. Oh yeah, you could. You could indeed. Who is the guy as well? Tommy Janssen? Does he exist? He does, and he's still in Homstadt. Scout this guy. This guy might be my the savior there. He's very good. Oh, Akbar Barsum is interested. Indispensable. Yes, of course. No problem. You shall. You shall be indispensable to this team. And Barsum wants to come. Yes, come on. Come on, boy. I got Barsum. So my attack is just getting better and better. My defense, not real. Thiago Lemos. That would be fantastic if I could. No, 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 no. Don't do this to Papa. Don't do this, Niki Parenko. Please, don't stay with that release clause. That would be horrible. So 2.4 in six months, Raga. I'll say yes. Goodbye. You can play against me as well. Olympiaco signed Solish. Wow. The player. Awesome is mine. Oh, I was forgetting here to... Change the attackers to the other side of the training. Only the defensive guys stay here, or the more defensive guys, let's say. Mark Kerr will have to update him as a second organizer there when the time comes. And yeah, let's go. It's moving on. Anderson was rejected. Okay, so if I don't get Anderson, at least I need to get Ka or someone of the likes. <sighs> Believe you indispensable. Things stand. I don't think I want to spend three and a half million men on this guy. I don't know why. I don't have a good feeling. Let me see. What am I doing? No, I mean, future transfers here. I know that I have a few. Christopher Anderson would be more interesting, or Dorison. Yeah, honestly, honestly, they would be more interesting than God. This guy is just a right back. At the end of the day, good. Probably will get really good. Let's see. Oh, he wouldn't want to go, not as an important player. No, he wants to be indispensable as well. Players are all so ambitious. No, man, please, 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 please. Nikki, Nikki, just signed that contract, man. 230,000 euro. Are you serious, my friend? Someone is going to get you. Someone is going to get him. I'm scared of that. I must say, so I got rid of that guy. That's good. I got Barsum to the right. Left his coverage. Yeah, I'll keep this guy, Gustavo and Eager, I suppose. My fixtures start on the 25th. I might have a Super Cup to play, though. Don't I have a Super Cup to play as well? <sighs> that would be weird. I mean, who plays the Super Cup in the end of the day? <clears throat> I'm going to prepare like a sort of a preseason. 
now it's important. In the first season, not much because the players are always good physically, but here, no. No way, I'm not gonna forgive this. I'm even gonna put one here. Oh, well. Let's do like 12 non league, just, just to get, get the physical part of my players on. And I'll get one while they're all happy out disputing. European, yeah, I have a big break here. A big, big break. Like, I could almost do a mini preseason right there. <clears throat> it's too much. Too much. It's like until the 15th or something. A game on the 7th. So, otherwise, it's gonna get, like, too suffocating with friendly matches as well. Something I'm not interested in, to be honest. Oh, Portugal won. They beat Spain and Perled. In the quarterfinals, that means that they're in the semis. Saudi Arabia, really. They made it to the, to the quarterfinals there. Oh, they must have an amazing team. Huh, what is this? So cheap. I have a feeling this, this version of the game gives you so much, so many more options. Look at this guy. He's not, he's not fast, but ah, incredible. You watch Janssen and they're not impressed. Okay. Sure. Slow. Too slow. Like Kunzu. Wow, me too, man. Who doesn't like Kunzu? Look at Kunzu, man. Kunzu is very good. Any Slovakian player. And again, it's kind of an annoying that the Portuguese league doesn't have the restrictions. But Makes you, you can buy anything. Anything is yours. Hey, pa, man, that would be so nice. That would be so nice. Nikki, Nikki, don't do this to me. You will learn the language. All the, all the Eastern European people learn Portuguese. All of them, they're all awesome. Our language is like uh, Eastern European already. It sounds like so bad. Bratislava, Kunzo, say yes, please, my friend. He's interested, he's interested. Let's give him a seven and a half million. Get you a little bit more there. Say yes. Say yes to Papa. Say yes to Papa. I'm gonna keep them like training like horses. Until the day comes. No one seems to be very thrilled to get Simoish, which is kind of annoying. To be honest. All good. Akunzo, defend is, defense is, is getting there. That was very good, actually. Good observation from my from my um, scout. Uh, much better than, than the man I signed there for free. Actually, has tackling 10. Oh, man. Ugh. But uh, we'll survive. We'll survive. You got Kunzo in risk. You got Kunzo in risk, man. Akunzo. Akunzo got Kunzo. Chirita is one of the stars now. Chirita, Tsigalko, and Simoes is the star, man. Hey. What's the criteria here to be a star? That's so strange. CSK jumps over, all over, Balad and Goff. I'm definitely going to do the same. Oh, that's a player that I really want. Really, really, really. You can almost, like, you can overthrow any any of my uh, my left or right backs, all of them, all of them. Bakir Siogo, no, I have, I have Barsoms, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna complicate my life more. I'm saying to Valadinkov, Valadinkov, you are absolutely indispensable to this club. Join me, join me, my friend, join me. Dorison, maybe I was too cheap. Go for four two five. He's already on the the Swedish team. That's that's something. No one wants to bid for Pedro Simões, which is weird. Goodbye, Anderson. No Anderson this season, anyway. Hopefully, Baladenkov is gonna fill that gap. Why is this passing so fast? Okay, no news. 
No news. Yes. 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 Okay, that's great. That's really, really good. Let's be honest. That's really good. And again, trying to sell Simoish by strength. I'm just trying to get rid of him at this stage, I suppose. I have to. I mean, I have no need for him whatsoever. Riawave is in the second division, and it doesn't look like they have any sort of money whatsoever. Try to sell Simoish for a symbolic price. See if that appeals Maritimo or anyone at all. We will see. Definitely Simoish out of this team, and... Wait for me, I think I'm kind of not bad at all. At least I just had the league to play, so I won't bother too much in increasing the size of my of my team. Unless there's like a... I need the money to... If there's something irresistible that uh, all of a sudden appears, I can bid and get him. That's my main goal. I suppose I need to have that backup plan, because there's a lot of players here that I would like to have. Like Chon Paiva from Sporting, for example. This striker. Man. Nothing to fool around with. Not at all. Who do we have expiring for next season? A good few of them. That is for sure. Mendonca wants to move. Mendonca. Is there Roberto? That is a good number 10, but good luck, my friend. I got no chance in this court, that's for sure. So, more than signing, I want to get rid. Oh. I should get rid of Cristal then. Or I'll keep Simoins and get rid of Cristal. The other guy that I don't even know what he's doing. Seem to be very mean to Pedro at this stage. So I might just keep him. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'll negotiate a new contract with you. You, my friend. I don't even know what to do with you. I want to keep you at the same time because it doesn't look like I have that... that many players. Am I trying to sign anyone else? Dorsey. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. That actually would be nice. No, I kind of would like you to join me here, my friend, Dorsey. That would be really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, should I put Satmar on the bench next season? Because I have this Shirita. Seems to be amazing. I mean, very promising anyway, the guy that... Don't get me wrong, he's no, he's no uh, Mike Duff, but... Not bad, not bad at all. As the main things that you need for a wing back. Yeah. The assignment on Sabin be good about it. Three and a half mil. Yeah, this is such a shame I cannot sign with Niki right now. Oh, not good. Yeah, if I sign I'm I'm almost complete. I have a full squad like I have a full squad here. Not even gonna buy it. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You gotta, you gotta take him off training before. This is horrible. Yeah, that's really bad. Eh. That's good. Good. Yeah. But no, not that good. Nuno promoted to the Youth Academy. Well, he runs. Mm, he's not bad. We'll see how he evolves anyway. There you go. Stay here. Stay with Papa. If you wanna. No, oh, yeah. training, the training, the training, the training, the training. This has happened to me so many times, and to you guys as well, I'm sure. That it is annoying, or it could be annoying. And I think 
What I'm going to do is finish this video soon so I can go through the friendly matches, which are boring. We all know they're boring, like boring, boring, seriously boring. And attributes here. I always do this for the set pieces so I don't have to be bothered during the game. No way. I'll just put them all by set pieces with the penalties. Of course, Marajo is the, the leader of the pack. Vicinho the second, that's fine. So once they are all 100%ed again, which is not going to happen apparently before the friendly matches, so there's no point in keeping them without training, having the easy life. Go back to light every sector, they won't make a difference in the end of the day. Probably the machine decides that by the 20th or something around, everyone goes to 100% and they stay there onwards. Uh, it's no point just keeping them on the low, on the nothing in this case, and waiting for them to magically appear there. So, okay, I'm gonna save this game here. I'm gonna stop my stream now here for you guys. I will resume this video in another video, but uh, just so it doesn't get too ridiculously long, okay? Pleasure. Keep the game alive. We're together. Super Mario here. Give me some comments. Say something. I'll see you soon.